In a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and babbling brooks, there lived a small mouse named Maximum Max was known far and wide for his laziness. While his fellow mice scurried about gathering food and preparing their nests, Max could often be found lounging under the shade of a large oak tree, nibbling on crumbs he found here and there. The village mice were industrious and worked hard to ensure they had enough food and warmth to last through the winter. They built sturdy homes, stored grains, and helped one another with daily chores. Max, however, preferred to spend his days daydreaming and basking in the sun. Max, you need to start preparing for winter, urged Mimi, a diligent mouse who lived next door. If you don't gather food now, you'll have nothing to eat when the cold comes. Max yawned and stretched. There's plenty of time for that, Mimi. Why worry now when the weather is still warm and the days are long? Despite the warnings from his neighbors, Max continued to shirk his responsibilities. The other mice grew frustrated with his laziness, but they were also kind-hearted and didn't want to see him suffer. One autumn day, the village mice noticed the first signs of winter approaching. The wind blew colder, and the leaves began to fall from the trees. The mice worked even harder, scurrying about to gather the last bits of food and secure their homes. Max, however, still lounged under his oak tree, now with a few leaves blanketing him like a cozy quilt. I'll gather food tomorrow, he thought to himself, dozing off as the sun dipped below the horizon. Tomorrow came, and with it, the first frost. Max awoke shivering and hungry. He wandered through the village, hoping to find some crumbs or a bit of grain. But the other mice had already stored away their supplies, and there was nothing left for Max to find. Desperate, Max knocked on Mimi's door. Mimi, can you spare some food? I didn't prepare, and now I'm starving. Mimi sighed but opened her door. Max, I warned you this would happen. You need to take responsibility for yourself. She gave him a small portion of her own food and invited him in to warm up. As Max sat by the fire, he realized the consequences of his laziness. He had relied on the kindness of his neighbors, but he knew he couldn't continue this way. Determined to change, Max asked Mimi to help him learn how to gather food and prepare for the future. She agreed, and over the next few days, Max worked harder than he ever had. He collected nuts and seeds, built a proper nest, and even helped other mice with their preparations. Winter settled in, and the village was blanketed in snow. Max, snug in his nest with a supply of food, felt a warmth that came not just from the fire but from the sense of accomplishment and responsibility. The other mice noticed Max's transformation and welcomed him as a contributing member of the village. From that day on, Max was no longer the lazy mouse of the village but a symbol of change and growth. And every winter, as he sat by his fire, he remembered the lessons he had learned and the friends who had helped him along the way.